Okay, maybe I'm like being a big baby about the situation and I'm putting I'm putting a damper on everyone's fun, right? I'm, I'm the fun police, Wii U, Wii U. But like, are we really going around and like pretending to be service workers to get clout on the internet? Like, is that, is, why is that a thing that we're doing now? Cause like, I don't know, maybe this first video, this one isn't bad, it's Ugg Madison. And I, I'll show you the video real quick, right? She pretends to be a, a Kroger worker, a, a service worker. And like, she's not that bad in it. I got there at 3.30, ready to rumble. This customer told me his $2 off coupon wasn't working so i just paid for his entire card really yeah holy smokes that's insanely nice of her be able to like pay for this person's groceries for them that, that's like that's a really nice thing for you to do and i'm not saying anything against that all right really kind of you but also don't go around pretending to be a service worker right that is, i don't Okay, you might think, what's what's the issue for working for free, right? They aren't making her work for free. She's doing it on her own volition. There's no law that says you can't pretend to, to work at a job. Like, I don't think there is at least, but there's other stuff I want to talk about. I organized shelves, help more customers, and bought snacks to put in the break room for my coworkers and I. Is that okay to go in the break room? I don't, is that, I don't know if that's allowed that you can just like go in the break room as a normal person because she is not an employee, right? She is just a normal customer. And so I'm pretty, I'm, that's probably like trespassing, I'd assume. Going into an employee only area that that's got to be trespassing and right she's still being insanely nice she's still buying stuff for people she's leaving stuff in the break room for others like she's being a, a nice person but like you can be a nice person and still do the wrong thing and trespassing is definitely the wrong thing it would suck for you to get in trouble for this right you know personally if i found someone who was in the break room wasn't supposed to but you know they're being nice and stuff like i wouldn't really care i'd probably tell them to leave but like there's definitely going to be some people out there that would call the cops on you or something and that i guess it makes for better clickbait content which is you know good for you i guess but also like you don't want the cops to be called on you that's just not a fun thing i'm not leaving till i'm ceo of Kroger. I did some cleaning, did some top stock, then helped my top notch customer. What did that ring out? Some nice lady behind you. Oh, oh my god, are you kidding? And she's paying for more stuff. See, like, she seems like a good person. So nothing against the creator themselves. Just some of the actions are not the best, I feel like. I went back to work and my coworker showed me a video of a girl working at Target and said that it's me. And then this, this person came up and was like, hey, I recognize you from this video. Uh, and I said, no. Yeah. She said she was going to show the manager my video, so I packed up my things and continued working in a different aisle, but the manager still managed to find me. He politely let me know that working at Kroger for free is not allowed because of the union and labor laws. And the store was about to close, so I had to go home anyway. This was my first and last day working at Kroger for free. Best six and a half hours of my life. She even said it like herself, right? I, I'm not sure if it's not legal, maybe. Maybe it's illegal. Maybe she's allowed to do it. But like, it's not like ethical to be doing it, right? Like you're, you're messing with a, a union right now. This is, this is people's jobs, right? This is how they feed their kids. They get a house. And like, even if you're doing work for free and it doesn't seem like it's an issue right there could be something that you don't know that you're doing wrong that could mess up the union and mess up people's lives right i don't i don't think she did anything like that but you, you never know with these types of things and it's i feel like it's better not to risk it but it's also you're doing work for a, a bajillion dollar business when there are places that you could go that need your help and like i get that wouldn't make for as good of like content saying i worked at this non-profit is definitely not as clickbaity as i worked at lowe's for free but it's also just it's kind of weird in my opinion but then she did leave when they told her to so that's good at least right if she didn't then that would be trespassing at that point because it's a, a, a private business if you don't leave when you're told to you're you're trespassing but overall with this video right i don't really have any issues with it other than like the going into the break room because I, I feel like that's kind of iffy but this next video actually like makes me so annoyed this video is i why do people like act like this right over Bro, here tripping. Oh, i know my stuff don't worry here we are all right thanks man Appreciate Alrighty, take care now. Got her done. What do we got? Oh, I was just gonna give I you a high five. I don't know who you are. I don't Steve. know who you are. That's Michael. I'm okay. Steve. Explain to me what your purpose is right now. I was just helping out a customer. No, no. Are you working in the building right oh, now? Oh, yeah. Okay. Big and, time. And where do you work in the building? What do you do? Weather stripping. No. What is your function in this building? What department do you work in? Lumber. This guy is just doing his job and you're being like upset that he's doing his job like what and like my biggest gripe with these types of videos is not that they're pretending to be a, a worker right that's i kind of iffy but who cares my issue is that they make the content about other people which is fine in most contexts but when it's like a 
comedy video and it's supposed to be funny and you're making it at the expense of other people that's not okay that's not good right it's okay if it's with like your friends and stuff like that, that's no issue but when you're like making fun of random people you're just an asshole at that point right you're just not a good person and you're just being annoying who's your uh, supervisor steve that's not who the supervisor is in lumber Really? Yeah. So what are you doing here? You don't have name tags. Mm -hmm. You're in here with vest on. You're right. walking around with a camera. Yeah. Neither one of you knows who the supervisor is over there. I think he does. Neither one of you know who the supervisor is over there. Who is he? Now, something you could say is like, you know, here, bro taking his retirement job too seriously. Like, sure, it's a retail job. You're taking it too seriously. Blah, blah, blah. Like, fine, right? But also, you're just being annoying and you're being a nuisance on purpose. You don't get to be mad at other people when they're doing what they're supposed to and you're very obviously not. Don't get mad at other people for being themselves right because maybe for you personally you wouldn't act like this but you don't know what other people are going to and making fun of people just for being different is really weird to me they don't act like you would so it, it's funny right you know it's funny they're taking it too seriously but not everybody is like you everybody is different everybody acts different it's not something to make fun of right it's something to embrace and you know enjoy and this guy he takes pride in his job and that that's a great thing to have and that should be something that is rewarded and it should be a good thing, right? And changing it to be this like, oh, he takes it too seriously. Mm. You're just putting a person down for something they enjoy and take pride in and that they like doing. Is that really what you want to do? Like that, that seems weird. I don't know. He's mute, actually. Oh, I'm saying we're new. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs and let's talk to <clears throat> He's the he, HR person. Hey, come on, let's go. He's mute, actually. Let's go. You go with me. Come on. Okay, he can't talk. <laughs> no, you both talk. Come on. He, he can't talk, though, isn't he? Come on. The he's mute thing. After he very obviously just talked and stuff, like, you are not funny. I'm sorry, you're not funny. That is the least funny thing I've ever heard. He's mute. Dude. <laughs> Their own personality is as stale as pizza when you've left it overnight for like a week straight, right? It's the, the it's gross, okay? It's disgusting. And so to make up for the personality, they have to make fun of other people who are just living life because they have nothing going on and they want clout. Anyways, moving on from that, I want to go to this video. I'm new here. Uh, what's the, how do I page? What's the number again? Pound, right? The hashtag? Yeah, okay. Take, thanks. Attention. <laughs> Attention shoppers in aisle 12 and 13. I let one, I let a stinky fart go, 12 and 13 shoppers, so. Oh my God, dude. You are so not funny. Oh my God, that is like the unfunniest thing. How can you do that with like a straight face and think you're like, the, the, the comedy person, dude. You are not Mr. Comedy. You peaked in high school and this is all you can do to make up for having a boring life. Like, are you kidding me? This is crazy, dude. Do not go on the intercom, okay? Like, you are not an employee. Do not do that. All these people, they do the exact same jokes every video, right? I've, I've seen multiple of these. It's like, they, it's just the exact same thing. It's just like a, a different person they're making fun of, a different lie they're saying. But it's all like the basic script is the exact same. There's no differences. There's like so many of these videos. It's actually crazy how like much of just the same thing that people make and with like no originality, no like change. I'm on TikTok, but most of these are just like rips from YouTube where it's just, wow, I'm, I'm pretending to be an employee. Look at this, look at this employee get mad at me for pretending to be an employee and being a nuisance to everyone. It's just like so boring and it's so unfunny and it's just so mean and you're just like being rude right okay i want to like show you the end of this video real quick because this is probably the funniest thing ever like in the in the world so plug your nose bye He walks off with like that stupid music in the background and he like, oh, he just owned those Walmart employees. Oh my God, he got them, dude. He pretended to be an employee and asked a question and he got him, he, he did it. He said I'm a fart joke, dude, he's so funny. Actually, it's so stupid. There's so many people that don't have personalities and just do the exact same thing other people do to try and get clout and get famous and get money. And it doesn't work because you have to be a unique person, right? They fall off like within the month that they blow up, right? If they have a video that does well, you know, maybe it'll do well for like a year max. That's that's how it goes with like people who do these types of things. And I just, I, I feel so bad for like people who are just living their lives and have to deal with this. I don't know, just let me know if like you think I'm wrong or anything um, about any of my points. I'd love to hear it and 
you know, to have a conversation with you guys. Because there are definitely parts that I could be wrong about, and I'm just being like a stick in the mud, all right? I don't know, maybe. I just find stuff like this super annoying, where they just make fun of people who are just living their lives and like trying to be happy. But yeah, I don't know. Bye, all right? See ya. Subscribe!